Istanbul is Turkey's most populous city as well as its cultural and financial hub. <coughs> Located on both sides of the Bosphorus, the narrow strait between the Black Sea and the Marmara Sea, Istanbul bridges Asia and Europe both physically and culturally. It is also one of the largest cities in Europe and the world. The palace complex is located on the Seraglio Point, a promontory overlooking the Golden Horn, where the Bosphorus Strait meets the Marmara Sea. The terrain is hilly and the palace itself is located at one of the highest points close to the sea. During Greek and Byzantine times, the Acropolis of the ancient Greek city of Byzantium stood here. It was built in 1461 by Mehmed the Conqueror and remained both the symbolic and political home of the Ottoman Empire until Sultan Abdulmasid I moved the imperial retinue to Dalmabas Palace in 1853. During the four centuries in between, it hosted 22 different sultans and their families. The entrance fee of Top Kapi Palace is 200 Turkish lira per person. To visit the harem it is an additional 100 Turkish lira per person. It's free for children under 12 years old, and entry to the harem is free for those under 6. Museum entry is free for those in possession of a 72 hours museum pass. Please bear in mind that the museum pass does not include harem section entrance. It needs to be purchased separately. As there are four different courtyards and 17 different exhibitions you can easily spend at least three hours in this gigantic place, so make sure to pick up a top copy palace map at the entrance. Located in a prominent position in the old city, it is just a short, signposted walk from either Gulhain or Sultanahmet tram stations. There are numerous hotels near top copy palace including Four Seasons at Sultanahmet and Armada Sultanahmet. Topkapi Palace Museum have large collections of porcelain, robes, weapons, Ottoman miniatures, Islamic calligraphic manuscripts as well as other Ottoman treasures and jewelry. Visit the palace treasury that holds a fascinating collection of the world's most famous and spectacular jewels including the famous Topkapi dagger. This dagger was the subject of the famous film Topkapi. The Topkapi Palace was the primary residence of the Ottoman sultans for approximately 400 years of their 624-year reign. Topkapi is the largest and oldest palace in the world to survive to modern times. The palace was the heart, brain, and center of the Ottoman Empire. As well as the residence of the sultan, it was the center of administrative affairs and the highest educational institution of the empire. <coughs> sultan Selim III, who features in Pasha, holding an audience in the second courtyard Sultan Selim III, who features in Pasha, holding an audience in the second courtyard. The number of residents of the palace was generally around 5,000, but this could double during festivals. The Imperial Mint, located in the top copy palace, produced Ottoman coins and later, coins of the Turkish Republic, right up until 1967. <coughs> as many as 300 concubines lived in the harem of the palace, I in the early days white eunuchs were guardians of the harem, but black eunuchs sent as gifts by the Ottoman governor of Egypt later took control. As many as 200 eunuchs lived in the harem. The 1,000-strong palace kitchen staff prepared 6,000 meals a day. When the sultans moved to the Dalmabas Palace in 1853 Top Kapi lost its importance as the official royal residence. It was transformed into a museum in 1924 upon the order of Ataturk. Sultan Mem II appointed only the best laborers, stonecutters, carpenters, and masons to build the top copy palace. The layout designed by him included four courtyards surrounded by high walls, a harem, several buildings, gardens, and various pavilions. He ordered his private quarters to be built at the highest point of the promontory. 
Successive sultans made many expansions and renovations to the top copy palace, but Sultan Memtus layout was preserved. Between 1520 and 1560, Suleiman the Magnificent significantly expanded the top copy palace because he wanted his residents to reflect the growing power of the Ottoman Empire. Asim Ali was the chief architect responsible for the expansion. However, after a massive fire destroyed parts of the palace in 1574, Sultan Selim II was given the charge of rebuilding and expanding not only the incinerated parts but also the baths, privy chamber, harem, and shoreline pavilions. The layout of Top Copy Palace also includes Gulhane Park, an imperial flower park situated in the west and south of the palace grounds. There's also an area called the Fifth Courtyard, which was once home to several shoreline structures like the summer palaces, kiosks, pavilions, and other buildings for royal functions. However, they ceased to exist after the Shoreline Railroad was constructed in the 19th century. The only structure that still exists is the Basket Maker's Kiosk, which was built in 1592. The Ottomans referred to Topkapi Palace as the Palace of Felicity because Sultan Memtu was quite strict about maintaining a private life, despite the grounds being open to the public. He passed the Canonane Code in 1481 to ensure that the principle of imperial seclusion, the act of observing complete silence, was followed in the inner courtyards of Topkapi Palace. Grilled windows and secret passageways were also built to further enforce this law. The unique layout and appearance of the palace are an important part of Top Copy Palace's history. Sultan Memtu's designs were different and stood apart from not only European but also Islamic architecture. You'll find elements of the Byzantine Empire as well as influences of Ottoman architecture in the Edirne Palace in Turkey, the former home of the Sultans. The imperial harem functioned as the private apartments of the Sultan. Only a part of it is open to the public but is truly a wonder to admire and can be explored only through professional guided tours of the harem. The surfaces of the top copy palace harem are decorated with beautiful Katahia and Iznik tiles that are a combination of bold colors and patterns, and the impact they portray is absolutely magnificent. Top Copy Palace is a massive structure spread over up to 700,000 square meters. It has several courtyards within and more than 400 rooms of residential and administrative quarters. The palace is a wonderful example of the lavish lifestyles the Ottoman royals led, each room decorated with beautiful tiles and ornate designs and inscriptions. The palace also has two treasuries that include an exquisite display of Ottoman jewelry, armor, and other ornaments. After the fall of the Ottoman Empire in the 20th century, Topkapi Palace was converted into a museum comprising an extensive and imperial collection of rare books, manuscripts, illustrated volumes, the holy relics of the Prophet Muhammad, and initial copies of the Quran in its library. The Topkapi Palace Museum consists of several courtyards, magnificent pavilions, and displays of captains, royal treasury, weapons, portraits, and relics of prophets. The place is a celebration of Ottoman culture and history and is proof of the luxurious life they once led. While most of the rooms are off-limits to visitors, the important ones are open to the public, 